write, investigate what we think, or how we make movies. I'll write you a movie. And you don't want your name on it. No, you don't want my name on it. Especially if you're still up to stuff. Are you? Perpetually. The blacklist is alive and well, and so is the black market. We should all be prepared to go to prison. Scenes from the new feature film Trumbo, which supposedly depicts communism in Hollywood during the McCarthy era. But actually, our next guest said this film is really what could be called another liberal Hollywood whitewash. For more, we're joined from Newsmax, Washington, by Alan Riskin. He's the author of Hollywood Traitors, Blacklisted Screenwriters, Agents of Stalin, Allies of Hitler. Alan, we appreciate your time on Newsmax Prime. Allegedly, this movie takes place in 1947 when Dalton Trumbo and others are blacklisted supposedly for their political beliefs. You tell us Trumbo was a propagandist for Stalin and a supporter of Hitler. What else? Well, uh, that's the, that is actually the major point here of, the, of this movie. The movie actually uh, uh, portrays Trumbo as this wonderful fellow who was a, maybe a, a, uh, a sort of a, uh, a mild socialist and had this one, he, was, he loved the First Amendment and he was uh, trying to break the blacklist because the way the liberals look at it, the blacklist was a terrible thing and very many innocent people, people who were progressives and patriotic and all that, were, were banned from working in Hollywood. And they turned him into just a, a sainted socialist is what I would suggest. And the point is it's all untrue. I mean, the fact is he, he uh, Dalton Trumbull was a major, uh, major screenwriter in Hollywood, no question about that, very good. But he was a Stalinist. He had a party card. His loyalty was to the Soviet Union, not to the United States. And it's very clear, because I actually did this book, as you, as you mentioned, and I went to his uh, uh, papers at the Madison Historical Society in, uh, in Madison, Wisconsin, and, the, and I looked at all these various hearings, and the fact is he was a hardcore communist. He was loyal, again, as to Stalin, and when he, uh, and, and he was... And, and he was uh, all supportive of Stalin when he was liquidating all millions of people in his own country. And then when Stalin became part of the Hitler-Stalin pact, Trumbo very easily gravitated to Hitler and was now on Hitler's side. And, so this uh, is a situation actually, again. You know, Alan, the worst thing is you go to see these trailers in theaters and they say based on a true story. But they have taken liberties with this story that apparently are incredibly fictional. And Alan Riskin, we thank you for your time in setting this record straight about the new film Trumbo. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Now, you've been talking to us via social media the way you see it. View a reaction from last night concerning the president's Sunday night Oval Office address. Here's what Lois has to say. It was sickening to see Mr. Obama address the nation after a terrorist attack on American soil, and all he was compelled to do was lecture Americans and to be more tolerant of Muslims and to push his gun control agenda. Next, it's Mickey saying this. President Obama said in his speech that Muslim Americans are our friends, co-workers, and etc., but failed to mention that the couple who slaughtered 14 in California were Muslim Americans and also were co-workers to the people they killed. We very much appreciate your comments, and we'll be looking for you tomorrow night. In between, stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.